Uh, good afternoon and welcome to one of the most famous sporting grounds in the country. That is the Mardyke here in Cork City, where we're here for the Ireland versus France University International. Uh, I'm joined as usual in the commentary position by my right-hand man, Darrell O'Keefe. Thanks again for having me. Always yeah, great to be down the dike. Yeah, there's, he, there's no Highfield men on show today, so he'll be a bit little, little bit subdued, but <laughs> uh, we'll, get, we'll give you a quick run through the teams as they're both are coming out onto the field now. Uh, Ireland, at 15, we have Louis Bruce from the home club UCC. 14 is Harry Donnelly of uh, University College Dublin. 13, another local lad, Killian Collin from University College Cork. Wearing 12. We're going to take a break because they've gone straight to the anthems. We go back to the real business of the afternoon now that the national anthems. Oh, we're not there yet, sorry. <laughs> Take three. We could Third be under, time lucky. I think, we could, that we, one there, I think yeah. <laughs> we could be underway now, uh, but we'll start again running through the teams. Full back for the Irish universities is Louis Bruce from the home club UCC. Uh, 14 is Harry Donnelly. 13 another local lad, Killian Collin, uh, Coughlin. At uh, 12 is Gavin Jones. 11 is Rory Quinn. 10 I'm told the out the star. Uh, out half is Arden Egan from Dublin University, that's Trinity, yeah. partnered by Louis O'Reilly, who is a, a teammate of his. In the forwards, uh, number one is Jerry Kerr from Dublin City University. Mark Nicholson is uh, Dublin University, the hooker wearing two. Thomas Connolly is three. Aidan Bryan, the third UCC representative uh, here, uh, wearing four. Rory Clark uh, from Dublin City University is five. The skipper, Anthony Ryan, wears six. Bill Burns is seven and Sean O'Brien is eight. And uh, I'll 
pass the ball over to you. Now. Oh yeah, for the handy one, yeah. Number the one, the French are going in with Luke Pindor, and number two, Julian Ratatzak. Number three, Londi Dakage. Number four, they're going with Nathan Eugène. Number five, Jules Dussetour. Number six, they're coming in with Matisse Arnal. Number seven is Baptiste Delage. And number eight, they're coming in with Ator Orcad. In the backs, they've gone with Drouillard. Number nine, Louis Drouillard's captain. They've got Tongi Lacosta, 10. They've gone with 11 with Paul Champ. Number 12, Tom Danover. Number 13, Nathan Von Devon. And 14, they've come in with Delomel and 15 Tom Spring. In the backs they've gone with 16 Ferrier, 17 Moreau, 18 PFV, number 19 Ombla, 20 Martinez, number 21 Charlie, 22 Delorme and 22 Bourgeois. Well done Dara. Oh, yeah, even, even, right. even that was a hospital pass for me but you, yeah, yeah. Uh, you took it well and we're underway here as you probably can hear in the background in perfect conditions, uh, the sun has just come out, a perfect day for rugby football and as I said earlier, the perfect place to be in one of the historic old grounds in the country here in the Mardike and it's the French on the attack at the moment, ball got into touch on the far side and we have uh, enthusiastic uh, French subs behind us here, it's a big day for UCC of course Dara because it's their 150th anniversary, anniversary yeah. and uh, the University Union, Football Union and the IRFU and the S Student Sport Ireland are presenting this game here. When we get an opportunity later on, because uh, the French are on the attack here, they're going to the line out and they seem to have gone yeah. for the push here. But we got the Zach on in there to get the drive mall going forward. Ref is telling to use it. Yeah. They're still going, not still pushing through. Yeah, they're doing well now there. It's on the far side and uh, well defended by the Irish. And yeah, there's a uh, bit of handbag stuff now between the yeah, forwards. Just to know each other, yeah. Yeah. Familiarisation session. So, uh, yeah. like, like the French are coming here looking for revenge, as you know, Dara, because yeah. last year they were beaten by 53 points to 10. Yeah, and that was in away Bordeaux, in France as well to make it even away, more sexy. So, yeah. uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, university students' rugby in. in Obviously, the game today, but last year they beat France in 19, uh, 2019. Yeah, they ran away. They beat with Scotland again. In, in Belfast uh, in Queens by 31 uh, 3. In February of 18, they beat Scotland away uh, 33 17. In 17, they drew 36 all with England. That sounds like a cracker of a game in yeah, Oxford. Belter, yeah. And 2016, uh, they lost they England. Lost so they're, yeah, they haven't. Actually, yeah. yeah, they haven't, uh, as the fella said. They've been on a run since that 2016 fixture and they just couldn't set the scrum there so it's a, kick, yeah. a penalty to Ireland which will be taken by Louis Aaron, oh, no, sorry, Aaron Egan, Aaron Egan, Egan yeah, the out half, uh, a guy that we've heard good reports about because um, Fellow Glenstall Abbey man wasn't he with uh, He was with, with Ben, ben Healy, Healy actually, yeah, yeah. and uh, he was in that team but they have great hopes for him the Irish have and on top of that they He's the playmaker, really, as as I suppose you'd man, expect yeah. all out halves to be. But we're right on the halfway line now, and it's uh, and another fella to keep an eye out for actually Harry Donnelly, the UCD winger as well. Right, he's an absolute rocket. Magnuson plays the troopers come back on the French side. Inside now to uh, great carry by the thirteen, 13. there, Devon. Uh, the skipper tries to charge down just on the halfway line here. Ireland picking up again is coming back on the no, back on the French yeah, side. Away here. They can get a bit of momentum going away. They have the overlap if they Ireland if they can get the ball to the winger. Great offload back to the full back spring, Tom Spring. The French continuing their attack. They've opened well here. The ball to number seven. Great offload by the number four Chicken there. I think that's the second row. Eugène just got under the post there. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic offload. Number four, there. yeah. Number four, brilliant offload. And just uh, about, uh, we're looking over. Four and a half minutes fifth, in. Yeah, yeah, four and a half minutes in. The French open. So the French the have gone in the head. It's been coming though, Dara. They've been attacking 
front right from the get-go, actually, down, yeah. that, down that side, down there, the Mardog walk side. And they're side. not afraid to throw the offload either as well, you saw and, that there. And as the you can as well. see in front of us here, as they go back and let the road half, a man with a famous name, Lacoste, Lacoste yeah. take, the, uh, take the conversion, which he's done now and converted. Oh, yeah. So it's five minutes gone, seven, seven points to nil. Solid kicker, actually, watch them, the warm-up, yeah, big rangy kicker as well. For uh, Tongi Lacoste. Converted. So that's seven points to nil. A good start for the French. Needing to get us underway here again now, right on the halfway line. Puts it long, it's a Stuffed dirty one. Watch the bounce. Good take, actually. The nine Drew Yard sends it long. Yeah, he seems a very accomplished guy already yeah, very early in the game. The Drew, the, the, uh, he's Bruce. a skipper as well. Strong carry by Bruce. Louis Bruce from UCC, of course. Oh, big tackle there with the number one Pindor there against Ireland. And he gives away a penalty. He's giving away, not releasing it. Release, yeah. Not releasing at all. Interesting, uh, Louis Bruce, the uh, the full back in the UCC man. He's a grandson of probably one of the most famous full backs in rugby of all time. Yeah. And the man who uh, invented the the, uh, the the Heineken Cup, I suppose, along with Noel Murphy. And that's Tom Kiernan. He's Tom Kiernan's uh, grandson. So uh, fitting for him to be yeah, here in, in, in the Marlboro well today. Here yeah. as well. yeah, his home ground, so it shouldn't be a problem to him. Shouldn't be a he problem. knows every inch of the paddock. Noticeable as well that the players wear their club socks. Dara, you, oh, yeah, the UCC guy. Yeah, to identify him, yeah. And the, the, the team, the Irish team, is heavy on uh, a lot of Trinity, on Trinity. Trinity yeah, boys. Yeah. There, yeah, you can see all the light blue socks and well taken in the year there. By Aidan Bryan there. Yeah, he's the local UCC lad, the third lad on the, the squad. Oh, great! No look pass there to the number eight, oh, no. Sean O'Brien. Good carry by him there. Louis O'Reilly gets That's it out. again. Hits up fifteen. Ian Bruce, Bruce yeah. again. Take carries, not held in the tackle. He can go again if he wants. Egan playing very quick tempo there. Into Jerry Care, Care inside. Johnson's Second row, Clark again carries well. Three fellas on top of him. Ireland up in the tempo again. Anthony Ryan carries well, the captain. Yeah. Underneath us here over the halfway line and the 10 metre line. Coming through at speed there was uh, the Happy number Jones 12. There. Yeah, he was taken down a great, running a great line but taken down. And uh, it's very scrappy, Dara. Yeah, scrappy. Uh, the French are quite happy to soak up all the pressure here. Yeah, even though it is. Just took his eye off the ball there. Aaron Egan, but he had the advantage there, so. Yeah, so it's uh, a penalty. Just and, need to uh, settle down. May maybe an opportunity to get a few points on the board here. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Don't to keep the, te the team, of course, the Irish team is coached by Tony Smee, the Trinity. And uh, the programme they have for rugby in Trinity at the moment is top class. Uh, they're doing well. They're, they're fifth, fifth in, in the, the, league, I think, yeah. the league. And it's a competitive league because uh, I think they're only 10 points off the top team, which uh, um, I think are turn your... The going at the minute, it's yeah. totally topsy-turvy. Yeah. Topsy, yeah. Same, same with Division 1B as we know it. Oh, jeez, I don't want to get started. <laughs> <laughs> so, eight and a half minutes gone in this Universities International at the Mardik in Cork. It's Ireland nil, France seven. And Ireland on the attack with... Uh, Mark Nicholson getting the put in. Hits the six very well. Anthony Ryan club captain here. Looking to get a mall going. French are slowing it down. Irish team carrying very flat to the gain and actually gaining yards very well that way. Oh, 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 oh. Ronan Quinn very unlucky not to take that. Beautiful little dink into yeah. the corner by the uh, the out half Arnegan, but uh, Tom Spring covered very well there for the French. He's a big full back. Big full back. He looked to go as well, actually. A bit of Jouet, as they call it. Drew with the box kick. Yeah, Drew again. Into touch and. Uh, The line-out is just uh, between between the 10 metre ten and the 22 metre line inside the French half. The Irish deciding what they're going to Bit do here. Board meeting there, Jerry Kerr getting the call in. 
Nicholson with the throw. They need to get something up and running from this. They need to get their big forwards motoring Aidan Bryan, Anthony Ryan. Up it goes to the very well the air for the seven hits at wide. Yeah. Oh, it's a big contact there from the 12. There, Gavin, Gavin Jones. Jones, yeah, he, he was well tackled, but he held on to position. The number one Pindor put in a massive hit there. And the number six following up, Ariol. Ball going back. Oh, Killian Collin with a great down. couple of yards there. Yeah. Great He's after losing that ball, the French have it here. If they look to go away, they're in trouble here. Scrum half arriving. Yeah. Penalty for not rolling away against Ireland there. Yeah, Ireland really haven't got their game going yet, Dara, have they? Not yet, no. If it's, the French put uh, that ball away there, they're in serious trouble there. Yeah. They'll play from anywhere as well. Nice crowd gathering here in this yeah, old nice, ground nice, this nice, afternoon, nice, beginning nice. to come in a Friday afternoon and of course oh, a big game in, in sellout in Musgrave Park tonight. Uh, the the under 20s, Ireland playing France and the under 20s, I don't know whether you saw it or not last week, uh, away to Wales, they oh, did they very, very well. Score up on Wales last week, didn't they? Yeah. So we have uh, we back to attack now to uh, get this ball into the line out. A lot of movement in the oh, yeah. Brian trying to get it, but no good. Comes good carry by the 12 there, yeah, yeah. Dan O'Vare. Good, strong carry. Beautiful yeah, off hand. Loading. And the winger. 14th, oh, oh, down 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 goes again, looks to go back to <laughs> yeah. What a fantastic oh, try. What a fa two side steps. Two side steps. And a few, uh, and, uh, a few uh, offloads as well, actually. That was Dolomey, was it Dolomey? And the 14, uh, yeah, I think he, he's the guy that went in, in the corner there, the Dolomey, winger. Yeah. And uh, the offloading even building up to that actually was yeah. very good there. They're not afraid to throw the ball around. Quick hands, all, yeah. yeah, quick hands and uh, definitely, um, as you said, but it was the two side steps, cutting, beating the winger Ronan Quinn first, and then he side stepped inside. Come back inside again. Yeah. Again, and he was always heading for the post. So huge confidence. Our friend Lacoste will, I'm sure, do the business and here the again, because yeah. he's stuck in the middle. And twelve and a half minutes gone, Ireland. In what you could term a spot of bother here, because yeah, need to uh, get going out. In this universities yeah. international, coming up to thirteen minutes gone. It's Ireland nil. France 14. France 14, so. Um, yeah, Delamore, he was the guide, so. Aaron Egan getting him underway Sends again. It long. No one's calling that ball. The six carries very well there. Louis Drouard. Just tidies up play there. Great, great counter attack. Ireland pushing it. through here, putting pressure on France. Keep pushing through, they say. Ball goes long. He's plenty of time on this one. Egan, Egan no looks to carry to on this. Looks to show and go. Puts the ball back inside to 11. Rona Quinn taken very well by the French 8 there. Orkhead. Maybe O'Reilly inside. The forwards trying to take it on here. Yeah, a bit of brunt. Go! French look at the counter attack, they're going to go through if they don't protect that ball. They're very strong. Egan inside oh, that. That's a massive collision. That's a huge a collision. Aidan Bryan, yeah, absolutely put down. And the French again swarming all over this. Orchids have a they massive had, shift at eight for France. His defence is massive at the moment. Yes. Ireland with the free ball here. They can look to have a free play, they can show it and go. Not back 10. Yeah. The yellow card is slowing down the play, professional foul. Can't see from this side, but I think, it's, I think it could be number six. The six, I think, them. is it Arnell. Just deliberately slowing down the game. He knew exactly what he was doing there. They weren't back 10. Ireland were going to go straight through. And over here, it's hard to see what he hasn't uh, Arnell, yeah. oh. in, in fact, the second row, number five, uh, who is uh, a big man, Dusatour. Dusatour. And 
and uh, he's going to spend 10 minutes it's in the bin now. Eh? Aaron Egan got every inch out of that kick there. Low trajectory, drilled it down. He's very lucky I wasn't blocked. Nicholson gets it into, into six, Anthony Ryan. Ireland now looking to make advantage of those extra numbers they have. The rolling ball is looking good. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! This is the opportunity now to that down here. But another penalty goes straight off their feet at the break. Down. Yeah, the French are, are the French are not um, they're not shy in conceding the penalties, are no, they? Not there, not at all. And that was actually against Ireland. the six Arnold. Give away that penalty. Ireland Ireland up for the line out here again. On the line out. The French, of course, are a man short, so... I don't think that would stop him from playing it too safe, though, with the man down at yeah. still go there. You need to get something from this visit, though, Darren. Yeah, definitely. No, 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 long, long... Um, and that's not what you wanted, a crooked uh, throw into the line-out. An French opportunity to French. Yeah. It's gone to waste. Yeah. So, um... Not the best, as the fella said. 16 minutes gone here in this uh, Universities International. It's Ireland nil, France 14. <laughs> and uh, the French certainly in the ascendancy, although they're a man down now. Their uh, second roar was the tour number five. They got the yellow card in the uh, 14th minute. He's slowing down to play deliberately. Yeah, he knew so, exactly what he was doing there. So, yeah, they've, they've another eight minutes left. Uh, opportunity now here maybe the, the captain Drew yeah, gets yeah. the ball in see, Ireland oh, Ireland have won that one against the hell I think have they no the French no, have it the French looking to run it, it out the 11 Champ Champ carries up there brings place to inside the 22 they're still not clear but they're still in control of the ball yeah. uh, which is Important they're extending to the, the base of the rock yeah. there, the caterpillar rock there, so they're slowing down the ball big time, so you can't get to the nine through there. Well, this is a new one, no, Darren, is there a caterpillar? The caterpillar rock, they're, ah, they're doing all right, yeah, just the, you see uh, an old leg come out there, they'll I mean, extend they... the distance <laughs> from the attacking, so they've got more time in the ball and they can't get to you either, because if they do push up, they're offside. The game has gone so technical and so, uh, the various terms that have been brought about it, it uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for a new one, that's the first time yeah, I've heard that one actually, yeah. but it's uh, hopefully... Uh, uh, Nicholson gets his throw in right here because they're just outside the 22 uh, the Irish universities and an opportunity um, with the French down to 14 to try and build on this and maybe come up with a score to get them oh, back sure, into the game on the board. anything that will return to long take again it, take taken by, by Burns. Burns yeah oh, that's another strong carry the French uh, looking to put him down again Egan pushes one down to Bruce. Bruce is going himself. He puts the head down. Billy Barnes with a great carry here now again. And again, another penalty there. Can see the mistake, yeah. Mistake uh, for holding. Couldn't release in the tackle. Silly penalties are giving me the field position there for Ireland. Second squandered opportunity inside the 22. A cost puts a boot to it and brings it. <coughs> well, not I don't think as far as he not anticipated. Not as he wanted, yeah. Uh, we're here again between the 10 metre line and the 22 metre in the sack. French half. Looking to get the ball in. He's very wet. Oh, that's a great bit of contact there from the six Arnell. Brilliantly taken in the air there by Ogier, the man who got the first try no after him, yeah. four and a half minutes. So the skipper again putting boot to it, calling oh, name. Two from call, you have to make sure that. But uh, here's Quinn. He's 11, making Quinn comes out with the goods, puts the head down, brings back up to halfway. halfway. Yes, Louis O'Reilly to Egan. Egan trying to step inside. Good offload there, good pass there, back to Bruce again. 
Oh, sorry, back to uh, bigger pardon, Killian Call in the college man. Yeah. Good momentum by Ireland. Oh. Lucky not to get the offload. All went back. Rudy out half. Oh, we're going to go down. straight through now to 10. Aaron Egan puts the ball down. The oh. chase is on. Come. It's covered by the full it's back. Pressure. Yeah. So a good kick through, but uh, your friend Tim Spring was there in defence. 15 for uh, for for uh, the French. So an opportunity for t them to clap. Although that was a good break by Arne Negan, oh, the out half. And and, uh, he was gone straight through the centre. Yeah, and um, just ne just needed a bit more support maybe. Yeah, I think if uh, Ronan Quinn can get on more ball, very dangerous with the ball in hand. He's a liver. Yeah, he's probably one of the smallest players on the field, but he certainly is uh, very uh, dangerous. Oh yeah, there's no fear of him. So, oh, we're on the goal line drop out here. Our friend, uh, I think it's Lacoste, is it? The Lacoste out half. Lacoste is looking to get us underway again. Yeah. Kicks it long, Puts right straight up the middle off. of the field. Taken by uh, Anthony Ryan, the skipper for Ireland. Coming Carries back. The centre, that's a good tackle by the seven, Delage. Yeah. Ireland obviously going over the ball. It's a very silly 10 yards to give away there. Bringing us right up to nearly the halfway line and uh, Anthony Ryan being called aside here now and being uh, spoken to. Some words were said the French uh, subs go minutes. across in front of our uh, commentary position here. Going down to warm up, getting ready for some action maybe. So yeah. Lacoste long ball into touch safely just outside the 22 and uh, Ireland Gary needs something don't they yeah, quickly because if get anything on the board even if it's just a penalty three <coughs> points because they're not capitalising at the minute so going into half time you don't want to be nil at half time definitely yeah. not yeah and uh, interesting team talk at half time if it stays this way I think yeah. yes yeah so um, look as you say, any any kind of points yeah, will do because they will be playing with the breeze that's coming in from the west. Yeah, in the second half. That in the second the half, so. Ball goes to the tail, taken very well by six. six. Arnal. The French getting the ball. He's had the a day. good game. This this number six. Yeah. He's he's and they again are, they're mauling. That's true. Ali, Ali, Ali. Diaz looking to get the ball out. It's slowed down a bit. It's the eight off head. Carries very well. Again. It's a great line by the Turkey. He's shut down though by Ireland. Oh, great offload there. They have to keep the ball away from this danger man on the right wing. Yeah, the 13 Van de Van had a great right, offload there. He's inside again. Well held. Oh, it's oh, a tip tackle there, I think. He's just given a penalty, is he? And then the French aren't back 10 again. Have to go again. Louis O'Reilly making a break for it. Inside Ireland. Trying to hold on to it here in their own half. Nickerson, the scrum half, it breaks oh, away from uh, yeah, comes from, away from Burns. Billy yeah. Burns the lost it. Danover, Danover steps and goes. He takes the contact again. Gobbled up by the Irish loose and Jerry Kerr. Of course, the pedigree could be there because some of these young students are playing their club football in France yeah. with uh, oh, people like Stan Francis. Absolutely superb. Great bit of play there. Oh, brilliant yeah, by Van de Van, the number 13. Just slice through the, I was going to say the Irish defence there, but there was actually no defence no, there. He no cut there, through yeah. it through. and they went over. And this mountain is getting uh, bigger to climb now because we're coming up to 24 minutes gone. 19 points. 19 points at the moment yeah. with a conversion to come from a man who's been faultless from the tee. Uh, so far this Both afternoon, the other half, yeah, Lacoste, so. They're looking at the Ireland's woes, yeah, yeah, he's coming, Deuce Deuce the tour is coming back, back on. on. Following his 10 minutes uh, rest, shall we say, yeah. in, uh, in the sin, made, dent, really made, no, made no problem, no, 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 no impact on the, on the score. And a missed opportunity for Ireland, really, wasn't it? Yeah, they've had two penalties inside the French 22 and they haven't capitalised at yeah. all, I'm really honest, yeah. And a bit of back chat as well as giving up field position for him. Yeah, and that all came from the, the back chat on the, the halfway line, line, yeah. On the halfway line there, yeah. Toughest kick so far for the cost. It's 
silence as normal for kicks and he kicks great it strike, and great strike. beautiful just inside the uh, right hand post so Acres 25 minutes well. gone uh, and the French now leading by three tries to nil it's Ireland nil France 21 and Ireland now need to get the heads up now and start playing a bit of rugby and a big a big job on their hands here for um Arnegan puts it long into the 22 for France. Captain Drouillard looking to go, gives it back to Lacoste and he sends it down. Got to put a boot on it, yes, with that wind kick. behind it, held by Bruce here at full back. He looks to play the ball into the 10 Egan, looks to show and go himself until 10 ships over. Nobody's there. They no, haven't done that. 28 minutes gone, so. The yeah, French must be really board. happy with the way things are going. Water break for the lads there, much needed, I think. Okay, you're not missing any action here in this Universities International. We have 28 minutes and 45 seconds gone in the first half. Uh, unfortunately for us, the score reading Ireland nil, France 21. Uh, three uh, well taken tries and converted easily by. And the excellent out half Lacoste, but uh, to me the driving, yeah, actually. yeah. The, 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 I think the driving force of their whole team though is this young man at, at number nine, Drew Year, the, He's the, ball the captain. Every single time with the base, he seems uh, really push on ball. Yeah, he, he seems to be just a, a little bit above the ability of the others on the field at the moment. So he's doing well. and the right winger here uh, did absolutely fantastic. Delamel for his try. Stepping inside Quinn and then stepping inside the full back as well. So I think it was the 30 Van de Vaughan again with the offload as well. Oh, There's brilliant. Yeah, and Van de Vaughan just sliced through for his own try, their third try. So um, things looking good for the French, but hopefully the Irish can get back into it. Yeah. Here's another opportunity. That you know, a good centre field position, Dara. Yeah. You know, the opportunity. Here calls a strong ball carrier. He's got Bruce outside. Yes. <laughs> No, if you're Ireland, would you like to take the three? Or are you going to go down the line? I personally would be for just getting a score on the board. Ireland have different ideas. They're, they're going not, down they're the not, line. They're obviously not listening to me, so they're just kicked the ball it back in. Like bit there. You could have yeah. landed that in the five. One thing I want to ask you as a rugby man. The new thing when they kick the ball into the corner now, do they have to come back to the five yard line? No, you can kick it, you can put it an inch. Could you kick it on? You, you, oh, can put, you? you could put it an inch by the flag if you want to, but sure, right. but it's going to come back to the five metre line anyway. So. Right, right. Ideally, you want to land all your kicks there, to be honest, you make it easier for a pack. Nothing better than a pack seeing a ball going long into touch like that. Well, well taken. Well keep it in! And I know we need to keep the ball in the more it's through. No, no, no. That's it. Momentum building at the back. Yeah. They need to keep the ball and they have a snap to the right if they want to. No, keep Ireland going, need to keep no, it in, need to work, the keep the working through, they'll keep going with this. They've got a full option out left if they want to, they can go wide if they want to here. Again, Ireland another have a penalty. Ball. They have a free ball here, Ireland, if they can use it, they can look to push the ball wide if they want to. And again, Tom Spring with a great tackle, really killing the momentum there. White line yes, fever. Quinn look to step, look to go himself. Oh, he's cutting across there. Delage with a massive hit. Inside to uh, Sean O'Brien again. Sean O'Brien again. carrying very strongly there. I think they could go for a scrum here. Or just... well, uh, what I'm amazed is the referee hasn't spoken to the French captain because any time that Ireland get anywhere near the line, it's penalty, penalty, penalty all the time. So going back to the original advantage there, the original penalty, which is more central. Yeah, yeah. More I mean, central. if they can look to go. French are looking to for substitution, look to add a bit more bulk to the pack here. Tap and go. Another big take by the French, defence by the French. Go on, Tom! Go on, Tom! Yes! yes. Just under the, the post now. No, Rito! Thomas Conley there, unlucky, very unlucky. Just can make it, yeah. Come on, come on. Push, it on. push the ball, yeah. he's in the corner of the right winger. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff there by Harry Donnelly. 
man. Yeah, but it, it, was a, it was a brilliant ball from Gavin Jones. A quick hands from Jones, the centre out to uh, your man on the wing. Uh, Harry, 14, Donnelly. Harry Donnelly did very so, well. Um, Thomas Can Connolly was very unlucky there, just held up, I think, almost over the line. Just show you the line as well. So, yeah, great uh, time to strike as well, 32nd minute. Great time to strike. Jones to Donnelly. Try, so. Opportunity now for Arnegan to add the points. Very Let us see what. Not the easiest the in the world, yeah. He's into the breeze, though, as you can yeah. see from the tree flags across from Mustara. So he's. Uh, Let's see if he can make light work of it. Looks like a good kick. Easy, easy. Unlucky. Drifted Unlucky. wide, so. Here we are. 33 and a half minutes. Ireland 5. Let's go, France 21. But. An opportunity for Ireland to. Uh, I think there's the short keep going at it again. The rolling ball was causing massive problems to the French. Then they overcommitted then at the rock and they spun it wide. It was great hands. It's a long restart. Oh. And just as the wind picks up, exactly. taken away by Bruce and he kicks it. Just beyond the sea or so. Great clearance actually playing into the wind, you know? That? Yeah, yeah, fantastic. As you said, this man, we're at he track. knows, he, well, you're, he's your man about to throw it in. But yeah, Bruce's kick, it, Bru well. Bruce knows the, the ground, but... Uh, Inside out, yeah. Yeah, so, going to the number eight again. Lacoste outside, Van de Van, through to the full back, looking for the charm. Oh, and he's in. Oh, a lucky break there because he... Not only did he not get his hands in it, but he overran it as well. So yeah, that was off just one phase. Yeah. One phase, and have to spread the ball that way that quick. Great yards game. We haven't actually. seen we haven't seen anything like that from Ireland no. in the first half. We just uh, and they do have pace as well in that back line as well, as we saw from Harry Donnelly and as well Ronan Quinn as well. He's no he's no slow. Yeah, he's well, he's not yet yeah, the left winger here on this side, but again Ireland under the cash, and uh, if they got to. Half time, in my humble opinion, there I think yeah, with the score 21-5, they'd be happy. Well, they wouldn't be happy, but they'd they'd, they'd take that better, at the but moment. You always want more, don't you? You do, of course. Yeah. Yeah. The French is coming down here now. Drier, the the skipper, he's the danger man here. But you have um, Lacoste, Van de Van. Uh, who's their number 12? The 12, Dan Ovar, he's having a great game as well. He's yes. always looking to offload as well. Yeah. The clock ticking away. Louis O'Reilly with the ball. You and I spoke before Christmas when we were doing a hyphen game about the amount of time wasted. The reset. Which, yeah. The reset, and uh, I think they've addressed it somehow now that you have to have. I mean, the amount of time, uh, I think, killing us, yeah, the I think myself and a colleague did a monster match once in Toman Park, and the ball was actually only physically in play for something like 34 minutes, yeah, very poor. something like which, out of 80 minutes, you'd say, what's Gr going on? And tactic if you're winning the game, you want to close it out, reset, reset, happy out. I was, at Mon I was at Munster in Zebra in, in Musgrave Park earlier this season. The first half took 57 minutes. Yeah. That's, it was just crazy. It's ridiculous all together. That now when I did with to the, the the referrals to the TMO taking so long, yeah, really it just isn't, game. you know. Just looking at the other squad actually, you saw there are 10 of the last year's squad remain with 15 new caps coming into the squad. I think all the bench bar one or two are new caps. Exciting enough to see them get a run as well here today. Just shows you from year to year though with student teams and I know it myself from my time here with the the UCC soccer club, like you go from a very good team, fellas would qualify, and your team, the guts of your team, is gone for the following yeah. year, and well, it's so hard now to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like like two season top, the, three seasons. Yeah. If you're lucky. If you're very lucky. And, uh, That's a high tackle there by the French. Looked a bit Good high there by the number seven there, Bill Burns. Offside. Ireland here have a bit of wick if they want. 
French are slowing it down. Ball back to Egan. Egan sends puts a, a leg through it. Ball great ball. Absolutely best kick of the day by anybody on the field. He got great length and brings the play right up to the halfway line. I'm surprised that winger there, Champ, didn't look away. to go himself. They actually looked to speed up the game. We didn't mention either that the referee this afternoon was from England, uh, for Hamish Grant, a very English sounding name, I must say. Yeah, he's, he's the lucky man in the middle for all. He's assisted by Barry O'Connell and Paddy Sheehan. The fourth official is Claudio okay. Dona. Arcade gets the ball out again from Italy. Oh, another good another, another break. I think it's a little scrum half has the oh, ball. There's a big wild pass there from the 10. Look There's off. your friend Vanna Van here now. Well, always, look, always looking to offload. Always looking. Breaking the lines and oh here's a oh, that's that's attack. A 15 inside. The cost he's gone. He's over the line. He is indeed. And what a hammer blow, Dara, in the 39th minute, just on the stroke of half time. To see uh, the Rat breakaway. Rat Zach there with the offload there. I think he key mumbled up first. I think there. He was yeah. He, his break first was was crucial. Their offloading game is serious. Serious strength they're playing to here. They always have the option though. If you notice that, if you look at the offload, they have the option left and right, so it makes life way easier for them. They can really capitalise on those offloads. So we're looking at uh, a fair mountain to climb in the second oh, half. Yeah, you're looking at a bonus point. Really well, if there is a series in yeah. this, I don't think the, the other universities, because I asked that, to know had Ireland played Wales last week, but they hadn't. This seems to be an annual kind of uh, reciprocal play in France yeah. one year, playing playing Ireland the second year, and uh, I'm sure it's, it's a disappointing day, particularly for the three local lads here. Yeah. And, and yes, and kicks it through. Hundred so percent from are, the tee. Twenty seconds away from the halftime whistle. This university is international. It's Ireland 5, France 28. I think if you're looking at any other game, you'd say ring the changes straight away, but they actually don't need to ring the changes. They tighten up their game and just stop giving away penalties. Giving that that was position. going to be my question to you coming up to half time. No, if I you don't. were on the summer's bench, would you be. Oh, you'd want to come on, definitely 100%. Yeah. They don't need to ring the changes. And again, there, the first man to the ball was your friend, the number six, Ariel. He got to it. We, the clock has ticked into Safe added time in the yeah. first half. Uh, the French. The French is looking to play it out, really, I think, or knowing yeah. then we would know when they look to pass away. I'm sure they did, yeah. And, and the skipper takes it into Andrea, puts it out. Puts it out. <laughs> so there we are, the half time whistle blown by uh, Hamish Grant here at the Mardike in this University's International. Half time score Ireland 5, France 28. And we'll join you after this break for the second Central half.
welcome back to uh, the Mar Dyke here, second half of this University's International, just about to get underway. A mountain to climb for Ireland, Dara, because we have Ireland five points, France 28, four converted tries, France uh, taking their opportunities. Uh, I know that sounds easy, but I think the early try after four minutes by Eugène and then the try underneath the post just before half time by uh, the out half Lacoste really put the French into a strong position. And um, Ireland need to get the next score here, I think. They they need to kill the momentum, yeah. I think, yeah. Even Brian coming in, but he doesn't get it. Ball is not covered by the French and. Uh, A lot of talking done at half time. From what we can see, and we haven't been handed any bits of paper, no changes to our either team yeah. in the We're first half. Chase, yeah. But certainly you were impressed by the uh, French skipper, the number nine, oh, yeah, Dreyer, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and the out half, Lacoste. But of course, you were particularly impressed by Van de Van. Oh, that, the uh, offloading ability, yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And the finishing of the winger, uh, Dusamel, for the, the try where he stepped inside two are would be our settlers yeah. <laughs> he, he wasn't settled just super clinical a, super clinical great finish and uh, Louis, Louis already yeah just about to uh, put it in here and hopefully our man Aaron Egan who we were talking up in the first half he's now on the ball will maybe That's get something more to cut it through to Louis Bruce Bruce, Bruce back O'Reilly quickly to one and, uh, there's no point like that Looks like Sean O'Brien, but uh, again, Ireland speeding up a small Good bit. Good counter up with the French, they're coming through there in the tackle a lot. Pindor throws his way to that one. Yeah, the problem is I see it, and you, you, you know you're going to be better. I, I think he, the, their players are being isolated, going Ireland off. ones, whereas the French are attacking in... in Ireland have a free ball, they're going break. straight through, you can push the ball wide the second. Oh, really? Roy Clark, oh, yes. oh. Intercepted by the French on the far side. But at least a bit of adventure from oh, Ireland for a, for a change. And the French have a full back line out here. If they can push the ball wide, Ireland are in serious trouble here. They're slowing down now. The French were screwing for out the side. Number seven, uh, Billy Burns coming across. But cleared again. Oh, great clearance. Not out, not out actually. Oh, Here missed tackle. Egan. Egan. Gun to ground. The French giving away another penalty there. Yeah, that was a cheap penalty actually because there was no need, there was, there was no danger, there was nothing exactly happening. Yeah. Uh, Ireland were only kind of resetting themselves, they were in a bit of disarray and... Ireland are playing very flat to the gain line as well actually when you look at the uh, the tender for Ireland, Aaron Egan he's putting those boys running spears flat the 15 Louis Bruce and killing call and coming straight onto the gain line but France are playing a lot deeper so when Ireland rush up they the push the ball out the back door yeah, and they're the, two, the two centres are ready to intercept as they say uh, Van de Van Norman and uh, Dunavar uh, they've done 12 and 13 they've done absolutely fantastic yeah. work in the first half Ball in again. Ball goes to no one. Absolutely no one. But, uh, Lack of communication there. Scrum to Ireland. And again, and we've said this during the, the game so far, an opportunity for, you know, but an opportunity to throw, uh, throw the... Uh, So the scores are still 28-5, just four and a half minutes played. Lewis O'Reilly, Louis O'Reilly looking to get us on the way. And you feel as well that if, if, if Ireland could get over the try line, it would give them a little bit of confidence to build yeah, on. Builds on momentum, that's all it does. Another penalty Another here. Penalty, yeah. And I've asked you about this, Darren, in the first half. Uh, I think There's so many to, penalties. The post is forget about that. Just go down the line. Now you got to start playing a bit. Now put them under pressure and make them pay for the penalties. Yeah, but the amount away. of penalties that the French are giving away, and uh, you know, I, no right, we had one yellow card uh, for knocking the ball out of an Irish player's hands uh, to stop the game continuing quickly in the first half. That was the the second row, wasn't it? Dusa tour was off for ten minutes. Yeah, the five. Yeah. But like, there's no need. <sighs> 
Oh, Mark Nicholson gets the ball in. Taken very well by the, I think it was the four in line there. Loses it, loses it. French now trying to get it out of their own half. Here's our man. Julliard gets Julliard. a long clearance. It's not going out though. Taken by Ronan Quinn. Quinn's out there. Hits wide to Bruce. Bruce looks to himself. He puts the head down. He goes himself. That's it. Someone just needs to get well. with him to look for the offer. But he's still needs, going. He needs, to, he needs support and it's not there. Now Louis O'Reilly. Okay. Pushes wide. Egan has it here. Try score again. Donnelly. The French are offside there. Is it? Ireland looking to speed up the tempo with a quick tap. He wants to yeah. go. He wants to go himself to nine Louis O'Reilly. Ref says no. Can't go quick. I think just pump pump it down the line. Rolling malls working very well for Ireland as well actually. Yeah, they seem a bit perplexed here. They're going to take the scrum. And uh, Jerry Catter here is is uh, picked up an injury, the number one. But you feel again, Darren, that at this visit Ireland must. Uh, you have to come away with something, away definitely. With something, yeah. yeah I guess. Going for the scrum, though, you think they go down the line? Mauler from the five and work your way in? Yeah, the only problem is it, it, it hasn't worked so far. The French uh, pack and the French centres and the French defence in general has been very, very solid. But uh, They're looking to ring the changes here, the French at the moment, I think. They're looking to bring in number 21, Charlie. Be coming out at 9 or 10, yeah. Look, we're bringing three changes in. For Ireland's sake, smaller fellas, I'm glad to report, <laughs> <laughs> than they're out there at the moment, so. <laughs> so we get down again. Scrum here, good enough central position as well. Yeah. Opportunity to. Uh, Attack left or right. Yeah, but hit Gavin Jones, a midfielder, look to put it out the back door to Killian Collin here, you wouldn't know. Winger on the far side, actually, Ronan Quinn isn't looking interested to come over to the right hand side. So. Having said that, I suppose the first thing you have to do is to win the ball. So Exactly, yeah. You know, so this is. You're not missing any action here, as you can see on screen. And this business of the scrum going on and on and on. And at the time, the clock, Ireland can ill afford it, ticking away. Suiting the French down to the ground. 23 points behind, four tries to one. Number eight, Sean O'Brien picks it up, makes a run for it. Oh, yes, well done. Excellent, excellent work by. Uh, number eight, Sean O'Brien from uh, Trinity College in Dublin. Absolutely brilliant work by Sean O'Brien. Just picked it over. up and his pace and his power took him over. The way that the Irish team were shaping up there, you'd think that Killian Call or Gavin Jones would have got a hold of that one, but no, he went on his own. Fair play paid off to him. So, um, but you know, when you've got a great platform of a scrum to work off like that with Jerry Carr and Thomas Connolly pushing through like that, it gives fellas number eight that forward momentum to go through. Opportunity now for Aaron Egan here to uh, add the extras. Add the extras, which he's done with. 28 12 to the French. So, as they say in, in game parlance, it's game on now as the French. Bring uh, 20, 21, and 22 on. So we've got Martinez, Charlie, and Delorme coming on who's, here. Who's, who's coming off? This is what I. Back. We've got Spring coming off at full back. Von de Vaughan is coming off actually. And the nine, the nine, the nine, the nine, the nine, the very, very strange. Ireland looking to play the ball inside their own 22 here. And the timing as well, Darrell, does change. Yeah, very early, actually. Like a half an hour to go. They must be quietly confident. 
So here we are. Final half an hour left here in this Universities International at the Mardike in Cork. It's Ireland now 12 points following that Sean O'Brien try converted by Aaron Negan. France 28 as they were at the halftime break. Three changes for the French. 20, 21 and 22 coming on for 9, 13 and 15. Great shift put in actually as well by them, yeah. Ball comes back on the French side. The French standing a lot deep here, Ireland a lot flatter in defence. Number eight goes good again. Orkhead carries very strongly here. Oh. Loose play, a great tackle by Ireland there on the, uh, 14. the 14. Del Ormel does very well to hold on to that. You can actually hear the Irish defence there saying, go get him, go at him, is what they're saying. Look to shut him down. Did they hit that counter up? Did they go through on the ball to put a bit more pressure on? Just slowing down Taking the game their there. Time, yeah. 20. Martinez with a good box kick. It's a high, gets it on. And Bruce carries well. There's a time to go to wide the with it. Quid here. There's Quinn. Steps and goes. Hit oh. by the seven, Delage. It'll chip through. Picks up where the French is on half. Oh, that's a great play. step and a great offload there by the, by the 12, Dan Ovar. Oh, but just the forward was offload there. Del Ormel can't believe it. He was clean through there. A fantastic offload by Dan Ovar. Yeah, but it was French flair at its best, wasn't it? At it all day. At pace, at all day. unloading. Here we have one or two Irish subs coming on now. Number 19 and 20. Both Jake McKay and between. Patrick McBarren looking to add their bulk to this pack. Go on, Jake! McKay is the, uh, the, I think he's the only Queen, oh no, he's one of two University College uh, Queens, uh, sorry, Queens University of Belfast players. And uh, they're coming on for Aidan Bryan and uh, the number seven, not Anthony Ryan, uh, Four, Bill Bordens. Aidan Bryan and Bill Burns coming off. <coughs> so Jake McKay coming on and... Uh, the French are looking to ring more changes. I think they've actually emptied the bench in the space of five minutes here. 16, 17, 18, 19 and 23. Is, is that risky, Dara, in your opinion, that, uh, yeah, you know, to be, uh, re, you're changing the, 13 the three, in, that's 13 eight, 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 eight changes. Eight changes, yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely uncharacteristic, like, but look. Does it say, uh, yeah, there's uh, another Irish change over here now is... I see light blue socks, so that's and uh, see UCC socks as well. So we wonder who's going to come on. Oh, scrum's gone straight down. Straight down. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, one of your favourites looking to reset it again. Renowned University, Cahal uh, Duff, number 16, is coming on. As is number 17, Alejandro, Alejandro Heaney from University College Park. Plays his club football with uh, Park Constitution. But certainly a lull period here, isn't it? Uh, the game has yeah. gone kind of yeah, dead. Yeah, a bit flat there actually. Uh, yeah. 14 minutes gone in the second half. 12 points to 28 for the French. They're looking comfortable. They're ringing the changes, as you said. They've done yeah. three already. Three already, and they're pushing on with five now. The five more, so that's your eight, isn't it? You're allowed oh, eight now, up, I think. Yeah. yeah. So um, better scrum, better scrum from Ireland, actually, too. Yeah. And we are right, eight. Colin pushes wide. Oh, the winger shot does very well. It comes straight through, puts the pressure on, stops him from getting that. 
pass outside the channel, the 13 channel. And chop again, he's still going himself actually. So 20 Martinez looks to push the ball wide over here. Tom Bunny Lacoste, 10 pushes wide to 12. Donovair pushes out to the winger. Oh no, it's not the winger. He looks like a winger from that side, doesn't he? Pindor, who puts his head down. The blue head cut. And they're great and pace. Actually back yeah, into they have very good game. pace about their game, haven't they? They're, uh, Tempo's massive, yeah. You've yeah, yeah. got one guy carrying the ball, literally getting up, and he's at the next rope. That shows fitness as well. Ireland strong in defence, though. The French can look to snap it back away to put more pressure on here. And they have a free ball, the French penalty. Looking to go there, the seven is carrying himself there, Delage. Let's go down in. Martinez looks to push the ball wider. Lacoste, show and go, carries, shut down there by the Irish defence. Martinez looking to hit the pod there. Hits a six on Al. But again, again Ireland are in trouble from a, what was a promising uh, position in front of their, you know, their own 22 and yeah. they've always lost. And the French changes come on en masse and here come Four changes for Ireland they're all as well. Come on, they're just flying in there. You see, pay at there for the French. 16 Faraday, 17 Morrow. Try score for Ireland. Harry Donnelly making way there. <laughs> Head Jerry Kerr as well. Yeah. Ireland looking dangerous here, running. Look to give step back inside. Great tempo there by 23, Johnny Hunter. Ball goes backward, the ref is saying there, Hamish is saying play on, he says. Ireland can look to bring it back. Okay, back they have Ireland. to look up there. They have to look back in the snap. Ireland have six or seven players on four here. That's it. Put the head down. He says Bruce, no nonsense approach to the game. Ireland look to clear out. They've got four on two here. And give a great hands there. Hunter on the pass. Charlie, the 21 carries yeah. well. Takes the back. The ball out way to the Number east. eight again. Oh, brilliant. This is a big man, the new sub that's big in there. Big I think knock on over here, I think. Yeah, knock on by Ireland, so. Sean O'Brien, the eight there, very lucky not to get that offload away. To hit Johnny O'Hunter, to send him off down the wing. Good player and, uh, Louis O'Reilly now makes his exit. Replaced by uh, 20 Michael Maloney. Michael Maloney from uh, UCD. And I think Aaron Egan has gone as well. Off, yeah. And Michael Maloney has gone on there actually, uh, the 21 to replace him. Yeah, he's replacing Louis O'Reilly and Ian, I think, is replaced by 22, is it James Tarrant? I see, yeah, 22, yeah. Oh! We thought we had a... I thought he was in. I thought he was gone. I thought he was out the gap. We thought we had a James Low moment oh, here in the market. He, was at, he read it perfectly. Absolutely perfectly Lowe, read that. He read the ball beautifully. But unfortunately... Just goes to show the French are uh, willing to throw the ball around as well, yeah. I suppose the guys that have come on, the eight subs that have come on, they want to lay claim to, uh, you know, stake their claim yeah, as well. They want to get so, their hands on it, yeah. You know? Coming up to uh, the halfway, the hour mark really, at the halfway stage of this university's international. It's Ireland 12, France 28. 
There's so many changes now on both sides. You'd expect Darren, that there's going to be What's up? possibly Big mistakes. There's possibly uh, that's your man, uh, Matt Vonavon. Dan Over the 12, yeah. Big carry. Yeah, Dan the cost sends it long. Says he's had enough. Looks to put it down. Top of Quinn. Quinn catches very well. Looks to put the ball back inside. Bruce. Bruce looks to go himself. Puts the head down. Put on, Bruce, sir. Good. Hold it. They're fucking good, man. Yeah. And like as much as we can be like. Alright, looking to play the ball flatter, gain in the yards there. Inside. Better by Ireland, definitely better. <laughs> Penalty for not releasing there against Ireland. That's interesting behind us here in the commentary position. We can pick up comments of some of the Irish players who've been subbed off and they're, they're singing the praises. Well, not singing the praises, but they're mentioning the merits of it. This is a very, very good French team. So, Strange enough going for the shot of goal here, I think, isn't it? Such a big, just such a big lead. Get the, get the points on the ball. Lawrence they've got their last score. Yeah. This is the longest time actually they've had without a score. So yeah. they're looking just to add to it, keep the clock ticking. They scored a try after four minutes. They scored their fourth try two or three minutes before the break. So they're. Kirsty! He's, he's been going down a bit as well. Louis Bruce has gone down injured there, receiving a bit of treatment. I think it's on his knee there actually. It's a long strike, it's a great strike, a huge strike, Paul, straight over. Went over. No problem with distance for Lacoste there. Absolutely massive strike. The ball boys are going to be out of balls here, I think, after slapping a few over the fence. President Christian's ball boys are actually eight on O'Sullivan as well. There. So they've extended their lead to French to uh, 19 points now. With, uh, Great take by Delon there for 80, France. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Johnny, get up. Let's go. So. Go. Ireland are at the stage where they're probably playing for pride. Right? Yeah. For what position, Tony? Yeah. 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 Uh, just goes to show the importance of rolling subs as well here. Harry Donnelly looking to come back on. I think is it for yeah. is it a full back? Is Louis Bruce gone off? Is he coming off? Where is he? He's gone. They put him on the wing. Yeah, he's carrying a bit of a knock. Yeah, yeah. Bruce looks fucked. Looks to give it in there to the 22. James Tarrant. He's gone, puts the head down, gets the offload, good offload there to 21. Yeah, Much better from Ireland. Quinn again Much now making Ireland. ground over the halfway line. They're putting the French in the back foot here. Look. Back to Charm, Charm inside. Just Sean O'Brien, another good strong carry. Ireland needs to clear out that ball or to give him another penalty. That's better from Ireland. Charles. That's it, and you're gone, put your head down, that's it, he's gone to 16 goals. Looks to give it away to the 23, Johnny Spunter. Well on, Duffer. Nice, Caja. Tempo definitely increasing by Ireland, 22 gives it out. Yeah, Somebody needs to get down on that ball. I think it's coming back in the air. Tempo, 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 tempo. Need to go quick here now, yeah. That's it, they're not back 10. They're not back 10. Actually, Riff is giving the advantage for that. They can get right. Is it Sean O'Brien is there again? In he's had it all day. Carrying it forward. Oh no, sorry, he's on the ball now. Going inside Much the 22. Much better from Ireland. Tempo's way better. Back inside. It's number 20, Patrick McBarren. Oh, oh, 22 has a look up there. Charing, yeah, brilliant uh, inside break. Great shot. 16 for Ray Massacre. Shot of Ryan again. again. Opposite man there. Good Much better. Defence is fantastic. Their massive tackle by Page V there, the 18. Is that Ryan? Yeah. Better momentum from Ireland. Just pin the face. They've got the back so wide if they can flash it. Straight under the post, is he? Surely. Surely Gavin Jones is in there.
what are they what are they saying there right here? A penalty. He's got back from the penalty to Ireland. Yeah. Must have been held up over the line, so Which, uh, he's come back for the advantage. Much better from Ireland, way yeah. better from Ireland. Well, I think it was the pace picked up and uh, Louis Bruce now being he's made, he's made replaced. Made there, yeah. By, By uh, the 14, Harry, Harry Danley, the try score in the first half. A warm round of applause for the, the Corkman, uh, as we said earlier, with the great pedigree. Fantastic, yeah. And here we... Ireland quick line out from Ireland, Ireland there, they, they varied it, and two feet away from the short, and can they get over? Forwards certainly need to do their job here, yeah. but the French are strong. They have a free ball here as well, they have a free play out of Ireland. They need to get rid of them, get the support. Oh, give it! Play on, he's just off his head! Off his head there, look at the head of the ball! And uh, it's number 12. Gavin Jones, I think, is the man who <laughs> touched on. I think it was yeah. Gavin Jones. Jones went over there. Bit of confusion there. Off the head, play on. Happy days on the post. Much more respectable scoreline there from Ireland. No, we're, we're to... 31-17, the kick to come. Yeah, yeah. Like Michael Maloney looking to get his name on the score sheet here with a pretty straightforward conversion. That's all it is, it's the go for ball. Like play wasn't even that fast or anything. No. It's just our like, winning, like even like our bees, uh, our greens, our greens weren't working because they're so quick off the line. Yeah, yeah. Was that conversion that by Michael Maloney popped that over? Yeah, his first points of the game. Yeah. 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 Good. They're good. Do you right, Tim Fish? Are we saying game on? No, we still have oh, 14 and a half minutes left. left. Right, but 12 points in it, Ireland. I won't 19. write him off, I could say. I wouldn't write him off, definitely not. France, no, 31. There by the past. Number 23, Johnny. Johnny Hunter, and that one takes it very well. Hooks the carry. Well on, Johnny. He's the French player takes it off. He is a good set pitch that's coming out. The French are coming straight through exactly yeah. on the tackles. They're making the rocks very difficult for Ireland at the moment. Surely we'll go here. Though. And is the that due to yeah. is that due to superior strength? Do you think, or is it is it a technique? Not out, not out. The number eleven shop is underneath this one. Walking, walking approach to this, and now he's going to go. Martinez gets it out to the second row of five. Two to carries well, taken on by Ireland. Martinez, ball taken forward. Pushes up the ball in the cost to push the ball wider here. Get off. To number 20, 21, Charlie. Charlie puts a massive ball out to the ringer there. Well, well on Quinny. Well on Quinny. Nice offload. That ball is still in play. Yeah. Oh. He was really unlucky with the intercepts. Nine out to Ireland on the far side. <laughs> He's going to sack it in next time. a bit day. frantic, really, from the French. Yeah, there, frantic, but, uh, definitely better tempo, though, 100%. You were saying the last game was 50 caps. Yeah. That's class. It's unreal. It's only when you see this winger here, number 11. Shop, yeah. He's a big man. He's a big man. He just took the ball at a walking start. Yeah, I've never he, seen that yeah, before. When, yeah. he, when, he, when he gets a head of steam up, he's gone. So. Oh, Champ. Yeah. Ball hits the tail to number 5 there for Ireland. Rory Clark. Yeah, it's a good goal for They have the penalties well, so they can walk him. He's a free ball here if they want to use it. <laughs> ball pushes wide now. Ireland yes. looking to run. Over the top. Oh, killer. Oh, great. Oh, oh, over the top there by the 13. That's Killian Coughlin, the UCC off the head. Off the head. Off the head. Off the head. So Just so unlucky with the offload there. Killian Coughlin with a fantastic piece of skill to chip over the top. Unbelievable. Spotted the gap. And went for it. it. Took it on himself. And then his pass, unfortunately, hit his colleague on the head. Harry Donnelly takes this one. Looks to go himself. Brought down there by the French. Just the offload let them down there, isn't it? Just and again, the French killing the ball. That's, that's two occasions now where they, uh, the ball has been knocked on with, with Ireland looking to have open country in front of them. So that's a disappointing aspect. But come back again here is, uh, is it James Turned with that kick down there? Along, yeah. and the line. Kept it low, wind behind him, down into touch just outside the uh, French 22. Well, maybe 
been generous there, half in between the 10 meter yeah. line and the 22. Yeah, we, do, we don't get any because that's still like. Yeah, like him, Hodden, Jack Sullivan, like we don't see any. I assume, yeah, Derry, you're in possession of a ticket for yeah. Osgrave yeah. Park tonight for the under 20s. Money. I might get down there. Sell out. I, don't, I don't have one on me, but I might get down there. I might get down there. Yeah. Half time job, I'd say. Right. <laughs> really? Hope for the best. Quick ball! ball. Sean O'Brien's yeah. been magnificent oh. all day. Nice JT. He's carrying the ball very strong. The French is straight over on the ball every time. Get fucking right. Oh! Sandro Heaney carries very strong there. Michael Maloney inside. This play is good. Advantage! Free ball here for him. Left corner. This turned his excellence since he came on the number 22. Yeah, I know I have been I've been singing the praises to you before the game of uh, Aaron Egan. I'd been told it was the, the real McCoy, as the fella said, but yeah. this fella Charnt has done this. He's made a lot of breaks since he came out. He's, re he's really keeping them guessing, isn't he, though? He is. He's, he's, uh, he's looking to show He's varying the, the play as well, you know. Yeah. He's Sometimes he's holy, and sometimes he's. He's RFU. We had an Italian lad ref in France. Really? So maybe an opportunity, maybe. <laughs> dare I say it, Dara? A, tr a converted try would make it a one score game. Yeah. And then the, 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 the that would be in the post. I think it's well doable actually for an anti post stance. Back is coming back on. 14, 15. This is your yeah. Orman. This is Orman here. Is back, yeah. Spring, yeah, the ten. spring has come back on. Yeah, and the I think the, the number 10 is coming off. He's coming off. He looks like the 10, but maybe. No, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has a I wouldn't be taking him off if I was in charge, no, but that's no. you, you're not in charge. Yeah, so. yeah. That's, why we're, that's why we're stuck up here. Yeah. And the seven is back on as well. For them. Um, Delage. Delage is back on. He's coming on for the six, who put in an amount of work. Absolutely Trojan work all day. Massive throw for the 16, Cahill Duff here. This is him, man. Goes to the front, goes to the front with the A. Sean O'Brien carries well. The ball is going and they're rumbling forward. It's a lock down the front. Is that, that's an ego they just did. They've done it every time. Ball is slowed down by the French. Looks to push it again to the 17 there. Alessandro oh! Heaney carries well. And the A as well. Pat Ryan McMahon. Carry. Here we go. Ireland building phases getting the air slowly. Yeah, the subs doing their work in Certainly the forwards. Yeah. Look right there, look right there. Look. Take a look to snap it back here. It's a bit too late though. If they look to push the ball left, maybe as well. Sean O'Brien, I think you're again there. Left and not coming Very back busy there. day at the office. What's up? Oh, That's oh, straight through there. Yes! He's given it. He's given it try. Need to hurry up the conversion. Man here with the, the scrum cap. Coming towards us now with the man who came up with the, bo the ball. This big lad here. Tapped on the shoulder by Ronan Quinn. You can see who he is when he turns around. Let's go, Ryan! Ryan, Ryan McMahon with that one. He's loving that. Absolutely loving it. Number 18, so. Uh, dare I see it, Jerry? Is it game man? I think we could be, yeah. Could be, definitely. <laughs> Real rider over stuff though, if they can make that. <laughs> Honest to God. Yeah. Last seven so minutes. Here we are. I've, way got, more I've got my wish. Yeah. Set under seven minutes oh, left, and it's a one score game. Now you can hear a couple of the bit of the French supporters after travelling over and out get behind the team. Looks to put the ball long, pays it safe. Johnny Hunter carries well there, brings the play up just outside the 22. Our lead start running the ball a lot more. That's fantastic hands there, looking to push the ball wide there. If they can hit left, and he puts the head down again. They need to get with him. That's a fantastic carry by Killian Cole in there. Yeah, he's been absolutely... That ball, it's gone backwards, the ref says, but the French take it. I know they're going, I know the offload. Topsy-turvy, topsy-turvy stuff here. This game, I'm delighted to say, is finally coming to life with both teams really throwing caution to the wind. And, and it took 74 minutes to get a good old proper have, contest have, over though, didn't it? Yeah, having a, having a cut off it, but uh, Great it's to always see it. been a high scoring game. 
this fixture has always been high scoring yeah. from what we can see in the programme. From the last, from the, late, from the latest last, results, yeah. Uh, sorry, 53-10 and Ireland ha have been involved in some high score and you can see that there's a lot of... The way to Scotland, 31-3 as well, yes, yeah. 33-17, yeah. yeah. 36 all against England, all massive scoring well, games. They certainly would take 31 here because it would put them level with the French, oh, yeah. but an opportunity for France. Uh, in fact, it's, just, it's Michael Maloney has scrum half. Uh, to put the ball in just in front of the pavilion on the far side. Penalty Ireland, perfect. Ryan McMahon absolutely loving that one. He's absolutely fired up. I can tell you, he's, he's certainly in in the zone, as they say. And yeah, he, get he this guy really on the ball, him. just get him on the ball. Five minutes left in this Universities International. As a Mardike here in Cork, it's Ireland 26, France 31. And when we look back at our note, there are, I think at one stage it was, yeah, it was. Uh, 28 five five points was it? to 28. 5 yeah. 28, yeah. So it certainly uh, it was. I, mean, I know you query the French yeah. taking the three points at one stage here when they got the penalty. glad they're glad they did know, yeah. Or French, now you'd be saying, I'm glad we took those. So. I'd say they can't believe it, no, to be honest. They really let Ireland back into this one. Ireland played much better, though, massive tempo as well. The likes of Killian Collin having a massive shift oh, at 13 as well. Great, absolutely fantastic. And Gavin Jones taking his try away. And, uh, oh, fantastic, off the head, yeah. straight through. Martinez gets us on the way here, the French line. Pressure's been put on. Pressure. Offside, yeah, Offside penalty, there, yeah. 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 Maloney just... Just over-eager. Well, he, he, got he the made, rhythm, he made good intentions, say. but you know, he just... Yeah, just offside. Ireland need to contest this one, they need to steal this one back. Time right isn't on, on their on side, yeah. Time is not Three on their side. And ten seconds left. Pressure's been put on for the crowd on the hooker on the far side. Sean O'Brien, the Ireland is just everywhere today. He's absolutely everywhere. Martini has been told to use it once as the referee gets it out now. It's a 12, Dan O'Vera. Dan O'Vera carries very strong. Aaron drove that ball, they're looking to get a penalty, they're not. All coming back again. Shot tackle there. Home. They made great run though. Seem to keep him again, out. Don't let him off road. Don't let him off road. Back inside. Great ball. Oh! Ireland have an opportunity to bring it back to the right hand side. They're just quicker. They need to get the ball up quicker for that. But that that's been a feature of the game, I think, Dara. Yeah. The French kill the ball at every opportunity, yeah, don't they? They're not they giving out anything easy. 15 there, Tom Spring there again, looks for the offload, even as he's being tackled, he's going to the floor. So, James turned, hopefully he gets some. Needs to get it a bit longer. Play safe, though, play safe. So, they're just. It's a just, massive throw for Cahill Duff here. Yeah, they're massive. just underneath us now. Here in front of us. What a turn up this would be if Ireland broke oh, away and got a converted try. Oh, touch, like conversion, touch like conversion to win it. Oh, be unbelievable. Make sure that one perfect ball there. Maloney turned. Here's Gavin Jones Gavin again. Gavin Jones crashing up the centre there. Maloney again Just need turned. to hold onto the ball, Ireland. Just hold onto the ball. Oh, Nothing too over the top will do it. Quinn with good yards there, they're over him, he's lost that ball, the ball's out. But Ireland still have it. The, side, the number eight, Sean O'Brien yeah. carries very strong. Need to push the ball a little bit wider now, the numbers I, I was just about to say, and I'll continue to say it, certainly one of the candidates, in my opinion, for man of the match, Sean O'Brien, the, the big number eight. Fantastic. 
but uh, the second off for France, the Deuce Tour there. The UCT man, it was, and you can hear behind us the French are getting into full voice. Uh, the clock is we're in the final minute. Fantastic kick over the head of uh, Ronan Quinn still on the time, far still side. Time. Maybe one more play, and one could we have drama? Job. Of all dramas, be great to see it with an Irish score. And um, you know, you're not, you're not allowed to be biased, no, Dara. So you can't be saying that. <laughs> <laughs> the lads in the, the, the far side to give that hooker an awful time there. Twenty seconds. Like so an awful time, Ferrier. Ireland with it. Just need to look oh. to play on. Just give it. Get with him. He's on his own. And he's on his own again. If the French get over and give away a penalty. Well, well worked by the French there. Ireland going on their own the whole time. And they're looking to go. He's tapping went himself. Deuce toward the five. Carries very well. Surely it was the time to... They don't want to. They want to go. They're looking to go here. The call from the far right here. Deuce Tour on. Oh, it's great defence by Ireland. All he has to do is just put it out. They're overplaying us. But they're going for it though, they want to try, they're going. Surely when they got the penalty, they, they should have just taken the three points and left them like that. Game, oh. It's a knock on, it's a knock on there, another opportunity. Oh, all they had to do was just kick it out there and they didn't, they were overplaying the ball. You can see them, they're all giving out now. Certainly overconfidence when all he had to do Dan was Overt take the three the frustration points. There. He's telling them to yeah, take the shot. Exactly, take the three points, close out the game. Get three points and make it a two score game. I mean, it's so simple, and they'd have been eight points yeah. ahead. They're under pressure now, they're starting to panic a little bit. The French here, you can see them shouting at each other. There's a lot of shaking of heads on yeah, the they can't believe coaching it. bench here underneath us by the French. Shock and blue, I suppose they call that, don't they? <laughs> Shock and blue. So we'll. Um, We're in overtime just to let people know. I think we said about three times, one more effort, ahead. one more effort. This certainly will be the last play of the game, you would think. Just hold on to the ball, no, that's all you gotta do. Hold on, just hold on, just get back inside. Wait for the support to come with you. He's on at the floor. He has to release that tackler, he has to release. Better Lord by Ireland. Looking to challenge. push the ball wider here, they're stuck for numbers, France, and they can look to push wide. Colin. Great ball there by Colin, they're looking to carry again. Rona Quinn carries Quinn. strong. He's in touch. He's been bundled into touch, Quinn. The referee's letting us go he on. Still I think. hasn't. He still uh, hasn't blown up. Blown the, the final whistle. The French here away to our left with their own hooter yeah. have decided the game is up. But uh, yeah. the crowd certainly getting their money's worth. There, oh, hundred percent. Uh, yeah, big thing. Looking here to. Uh, and I suppose I'm going to call you. Who is who was your man in the match? Oh, they lost it again. Ireland have that ball. Ireland have it. They just need to get the ball recycled, or else they're going to blow. Into touch. Oh. That's it. I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Very unlucky there for that last play there. Yeah, and uh, there's the full-time whistle in this university's international here at the Mardike Court. Oh, it's finished Ireland 26, France 31. There's a few handbags yeah, after the final. A few handbags have been thrown there, yeah. And uh, no need for it. And people have been uh, quite in down, I think. Your men you were raving about when you brought on Ryan McMahon has not taken as kindly as others would. Oh, definitely not. I wouldn't blame him either, yeah. And uh, a good day's rugby here this afternoon. Yeah, a, very a valiant effort, but when you consider Ireland were 28 points to 5 down into tough the task, second half, task, yeah. and to co come back to winning 5 points. Uh, Almost a like a different Irish team in the second half for you to come back like that. Yes, and uh, a good day all round. And again, as we sign off, thanks to you uh, for your uh, assistance and your expert analysis this afternoon. <laughs> thanks for having me. We'll do it again. Sorry. Final score again, Ireland 26, 
France 31 from the Mardike. Goodbye.